Hi, everyone. I'm Matt McLaughlin, the Ward 1 City Councilor in East Somerville, running for re-election, and I hope to have your vote on November 7th. I think the best way to judge a candidate or an incumbent in office is to not look at what they say they're going to do, but to show what they have done in the past. And I strongly believe that when you run for office, you should have a track record even before you run uh, for what you've done in the community. I'm very proud of my uh, position as a community organizer, as well as an elected official in Somerville. I did not wait until I got into office to start advocating for things like affordable housing, substance abuse prevention, local jobs, addressing homelessness, immigrant rights. Uh, these are issues that are very important to me because I grew up in this community fighting to address these issues. And when I got into office, all that did was give me a position to advocate for these issues even stronger. I have been a passionate advocate for all these issues as is evident by my 10 years of service in this community as your elected official. I was also president of the city council elected by my peers uh, for three consecutive years, which happened to be the three years that we dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic, where we had one of the most highest functioning city councils in Massachusetts. And I personally went out and delivered food and provided services for people in the community. So I think if people look me up, you look me up online, you can find me at matthewmclaughlin.nationbuilder.com. Look me up on social media, Google me, uh, find the things that I've done in the community. I think you're gonna find a passionate public servant, someone who puts people first in the community and will always put people first. And I'll continue to serve this community as long as I can, whether it's as a city councilor or as a regular community member. So I hope to have your vote on November 7th and just ask yourself who's working hard for the community, who has a track record, and who is most likely to serve you best. Thank you, and I hope to have your vote on November 7th.